Hey, what's up everybody? Back here with more NCAA 07 MVP gameplay. Doing the Big East, currently working on that, so it's November 3rd, 2019 right now when I'm shooting this. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the rosters there. Alright, Illinois. So today we're going to be looking at Illinois and Indiana in terms of gameplay. So take a look at those pitching rotations real quick. As I've said in my other videos, these are all guys who were freshmen, sophomores, or juniors during the 2019 baseball season. You'll see some open guys there. That just means there weren't enough guys to fill the place of to fill the place of them right now. So once we get into the 2020 season, we'll go ahead and, and get those rounded out once the rosters go up for sale. So here's Indiana's pitching rotation. Looks like it might be a little bit better than Illinois overall. Take a look at the batting order for each team. See a lot of open guys here. Like I said, those will get filled in by the time the rosters are up for sale in 2020. So this is gameplay video number 20. And that'd be five for the Big East. There's 10 teams there. All right, you can see that. Let's check Indiana out real quick. Each team may have some guys that have been drafted within the roster still, but those guys will also be taken out when I go to put the roster up for sale. All right, take a look at, oh, let's back out of here. Go to the creation zone, take a look at the overall rosters for each team. Yeah, with this I've still got a long way to go. I hope to get all the conferences done, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit the Power 5 conferences here after the Big Ten and get those done at least. So those will be ready for the 2020 season. And then as it goes along further, I'll go ahead and try to add in some of the, the minor conferences. So, start for the Big Ten, I'll do the Big 12, Pac-10, SEC. Alright, so there's Indiana. Alright, let's go ahead and back out of here. We'll do a little exhibition. Let's see what we've got here. I haven't decided which team I'll be yet, so let's take a look at their ratings. Indiana's a B plus, Illinois is a C minus. Most of the time I choose a lesser team, so let's go ahead and choose Illinois here. Well, not much difference in their jerseys here. So I'm going to play on sophomore. It's been a month at least since I played, so I think I'm going to be a little rusty. Let's go ahead and get into this, though. All right, we're back now taking a look at the pitching rotations. Go ahead and throw Weber, throw Watson in there. Try to get a couple of these different guys in there. Looks like Indiana's, Indiana's got a solid lefty here that we're going to see, so let's go ahead and get that started. Look at the batting order. Looks like they might have a little bit more depth. Looks like I've really got nothing in the way of speed on my roster, so. All right, let's start it up. Looks like we're gonna have to string some stuff together here to, to get some runs. A 
playing the burbs. All right, here we go. I'm actually looking at the draft right now, and it looks like the starter here for Indiana, Andrew Salfrank, looks like he was drafted in the sixth round. They've got a couple other players who were drafted as well. I always say that's the, the cool part of this video for me. It's you know, college baseball isn't on on TV, aside from really the World Series and the, and the regionals and all that stuff. So, so it's hard to keep track of of these guys and get to know these guys. They'll be maybe playing in the majors someday. Looks like this guy here, Michael Massey, was drafted in the fourth round by the Royals. And I'm looking at draft notes here. Just It'll be just who was drafted in the top ten, uh, the first ten rounds. Looks like Illinois had one other guy drafted in the top ten. Yeah. Massey, showing him what's up. <laughs> That's a one-out single. Number nine is controlling center field. He'll bat eight. Number 18 is... Looks like the other guy that was drafted may have been a senior. He's not here on the roster. His name's Yalowitz. Takes a call so. strike on a fastball. All right, so we got a little something going here. We got two on with one out. Took something off and got it right down the middle. Dang, late on that one. Yeah, buddy. And that drives in the first run of the ball game. And remember, this is on sophomore, so usually play on junior. This will be a little bit easier, obviously. Ooh. Yeah, let's hope we can cash this run in here. Second run here would be huge. Another first and third situation. Oh, they gave him an error. It's got to be a hit, then an error. All right, so we're getting to the bottom of the order here. All right, we're holding that runner up this time. Ooh, good thing we held him. So 
and we've got three in on the first. One out with runners down first and second. First and second with one out. Ground ball to the left side. Should be two. All right, well, we put up three at least. The junior is going to be starting. He certainly is, Mike. His pitches consist of a four-seamer, a change-up, a big slur, and a sinking fastball. Here's what the home team's offense looks So for Indiana, I've got the right fielder, Gorski, being drafted in the second round. Sal Frank, I mentioned. And then another one of their pitchers was drafted by Atlanta. That was also in the sixth round. Not sure if he's in the roster though, we'll have to take a look. Come on, get there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, baby, come on. Get him. Yeah! So we got the open players here, so try to Should have lowered these guys down more with their ratings. With the the the, the caps, I always I always minimize their ratings, so I should have I should have lowered their ratings a bit. So I'll go take a look at that. Yeah, see, it should be like him. You see, he's nice contact and power are like 38, 37. That's how I do them. He bunts and misses. And if you noticed, I also had uh, thought I pulled the bat back. I had misspelled the guy's name, that last batter there on Indiana Bar. So that's an, another great point about or another reason I play these games like I just notice I'll notice things like little things that I should have done every now and then that, that aren't correct and then I go back and correct them right after the game so make sure that make sure you guys get a product no no <laughs> make sure you guys get a great product so anyway all right bottom two
strike on a fastball. Let's try to get a sinker down and go for the punch out here. Come on, another one? Okay. Whew. Leave that one out. I thought that was going to be another double play. So we've got two already. Get down. Ah. Right, two down, two down, man on first. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, baby. We're going three. Honestly, I thought he was going to gun me down there. Decided to take a risk, though. Decent speed at first. Come on, get down. Ah. Alright, so here's who I was talking about. Matt Gorski. Looks like he's got a lot of pop. Braves drafted him. What'd I say? Oh, no, no. My mistake. Pirates, number 57 overall. Second round. Whenever I do these two, I always like to take a look at their MILB. See what they're up to. See what they did in their first season, if they played at all. Looks like they had him at short A. In West Virginia, Penn League. 
179 ABs. Uh, he hit 223. So, not that great, but hey, he's 21, so. Try a slurver up here. Try to get it. Oh, he got it. There's a slow line drive at the second baseman. Mm. And caught on the Maybe we won't do that again next time. Round into first. Three up and three down. After three, it's <laughs> My mistake. Uh, what do we want to do? Who was that other starter? It was Watson, right? Yeah, let's get a look at Watson. Get him warmed up. There we go, finally a hit. Finally. On his way to second, the throw to second. The sophomore is aboard with a double, and there's one away. Number nine is the on deck hitter. Got a late break too. And it will score oh. a run. Action Woo. in the bullpen. So wow. we've got a right-hander warmed up. Number nine is digging in. Fastball for a called strike. Fastball in there for a called strike. That's over the two. Strike. 
with a breaking ball with the knees over the outside edge. Quickly in a hole, 0 and 2. Side, it is retired. It's five. 
We've got the top of the order coming up for them. Let's go ahead and bring our closer in. The fighting Illini is making a substitution. Number 26 is going to come in as a reliever. And Garrett Acton. didn't get it all. He looked like he got it all to me. Let's get the, let's get the tape. Tape measure. What do we got? No, no tape measure on that one. Alright, alright. I guess I'll stop just throwing balls right down the middle. I was just grooving stuff trying to get the game over with. Oh, he ripped that one. Fastball on the corner. Good pitch there. Oh, here's the grounder to the right side. All right, that's two. That'll do it. All right, there we are. Uh, thank you all for watching. That is Illinois and Indiana. It's gameplay video number 20. Five to two. Like I said, it was on sophomore. So we'll step up to junior next time. Let's go look at the box score real quick. Dang, 0 for 5 out of my leadoff guy. Everybody, huh? Everybody else had a hit besides him. Five strikeouts. Struck them out eight times. All right, there you have it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be on the lookout for more Big Ten videos. And I've got a bunch of other videos up that I've already shot, so take a look at those. Thanks, everybody. Take care.